Hello, welcome back to another Dams TV. And we're going to do another Guardian warm roof in um, Winsford. Sunny Winsford. It's Thursday, it's absolutely lashing it down. It's quarter past seven and we're stuck on the East Lanks. Trying to get on the motorway. Meet me. Set off early. Set off early thinking we'll get there and get to have a good day. Oh, we're having a good day. Oh, I've been put onto this, this Y food stuff. I've seen Matt Armstrong, he's a YouTuber, I've seen him on it. He promotes it, he must get paid. I'm not getting paid, I'm just. Um, well, anyway, I think everyone believes you though, everyone's like, oh, bloody hell, he's had sponsorships already. There's massive 800 subscribers. <laughs> 890, I think you'll find. Oh. Thank you all for subscribing. There we go. Oh, subscribe. Oh, if you like the videos, like and subscribe. Need to get to a thousand. All I want to do is get to a thousand and get a bit of a payment off YouTube. <laughs> then I can be a YouTuber. I get paid off YouTube. <laughs> anyway, back to the Y food. Happy banana. Quite nice. Not sure what I feel. I've had half of it thinking it's my breakfast. Then I'll have some of my brew time, the other half, and then I've got one for my dinner. But I'll see. Liam Skimpate is not happy. He has to sort his own pack lunch out. <laughs> Probably just go on the Y food. I'm just trying to lose a bit of weight. It's builders like this thing where you it's a meal and a drink and all that crap. It's like slim fast, I suppose. But we'll see, Y Food. If you want to send me some stuff, Y Food, fill your boots. My email, actually. About who the fuck is this? You're like, who is this geezer? Who is this guy? But really, it's, um, I suppose. Yeah, they not know you're a massive up and coming YouTuber. People, people who get up and get out, you know, there's not time to eat. I suppose it's a, it makes sense. I think it's about £3.50. Better than a sausage and egg balm. It's better than a sausage and egg balm. Well, healthier. 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 healthier yeah, and probably just as much. Better. Is it cheaper? Yeah. There's 500 calories in each drink. So you have a thousand calories during the day and then your, your tea. Oh, it'll drop off. Because some cheeky YouTube, some cheeky subscriber told me to go to the gym. Who <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm trying. Well, I've been working, grafting all day. Do you think I've got energy to go to the gym? Man. <laughs> and my dodgy shoulder and arm, what do you want me to do with that? Come on, people, be realistic. Oh, oh we're moving, we might be on the M6. Right, so when I get there, I'll show you the job. This is the job, let me show you. We arrived, it took us about an hour. Well, I'll take you outside first then. Oh, a lovely roof. Three facets, five plasterboards. Two big lads. Big Georgie Porgy. <laughs> We've got to dab these walls. Dab the back wall. Georgie's just checking the uh, the patio doors out, and then we can we can get cracking when he gets out the way. Right, the ceiling's boarded. Oh, he's missed some screws there, Liam has. He probably knows about it, if I'm honest. Right, there it is. Look at them. I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but that's a pretty good cut, that. Oh, yes. Bit of a patchwork quilt, that's Foss. That one's a bit of a patchwork quilt, but it's all right. So we're going to dab these walls, we're going to start with this back wall here, get the reveals cut, there's two there and there's these three where they've took the patio out, get the reveals stuck on, get this back wall stuck and then um, just start cutting these and go round, we should be dabbed in about an hour and a half, something like that. 
Right, so this is the next day now. We've come back. We dabbed it all yesterday. I didn't film it to, when we were dabbing. I just wanted to get home. As you all know what that's like. So we're just going to beat up now. Um, scrim and have a gauge and see how far we get. Ooh. I've got some new nails, galvanised nails. Opened it this morning and they don't look long enough. Maybe I should have gone for longer ones. Do the job. Does that mean you're long in the tooth then? What the? And that's saying that's why I'm short in the nail, long in the tooth or something like that. <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> Not a clue, yeah. It might be a thing. I think that's a saying or something like that. Is it a saying now? Short in the nail, long in the tooth. I'll we'll go Google it and see what comes up. Sure that's a fucking saying. Sure that's a saying. A saying or a fucking saying. Right, here we go skimming. Lovely, get it lashed on. Lash it through, lad. Don't be messing around with it. Get down for some more stuff. Touch on the wet side this mix, but we managed to use it okay. I'm just lashing a section through, like I always do. I'm always saying about lash a section through, then when you come down, you get a bigger lick. Just get that neat. I've, I forgot to start filming, so I've only got the bit. And then when I've rolled, when I've gone over the video, the footage I've got, the camera isn't very good on the um, when I'm pouring on. But I will. I start laying down in a minute, and I get a bit of a better angle. I must have altered the camera. So I just, I was. When he edited the video, I showed you this, but then I thought to myself that it would look very good, so... Um, it does change, it does get better, just bear with me. Here we are, so the ceiling's on. I'm just doing a bit of sketchy stuff here. I forgot to bring the horse to try on this particular job. And it was a touch too high, so I had to put two benches and then a crate on top like that. It's a little bit sketchy, but the things you've got to do are the things you've got to do, of course. Right, yeah, this is laying down. See how the camera angle on the troll is much better. That's what I'd try and do is get a good a good bit of uh, a good bit of footage so you can actually see what's going on. I haven't I've sped the I've sped the footage up but only a little bit. I've not sped it up a lot. So I'm just going in there nice and neat, trying to make sure that I leave that angle straight and neat so it's not like a dog's back leg. So you can see I'm just taking my time and it's the start point that I'm interested in to make sure that that's perfectly straight. The line I'm on about the actual where the ceiling goes from being vertical to on a slope. Not vertical, sorry, horizontal and then goes down to the slope. The rake of the roof, we'll call it. You can see it getting neater, you can see how that's laid in, the first bit. And then the next bit's just lashed on, but it's lashed on neat. Try and lash it on neat. I know I always keep saying that. If you've, you've watched my videos before, you'll, you'll know. And I always go on about lashing it on neat and getting it to as neat and flat as you can with minimal lines. And then when you do lay it, it's even neater than when you lay it. You've not got any big flipping lines of skimming that will show through. They will show through them lines. See, like there. That's the actual laying in coat that's left that line. But if that was the sort of lashing on coat, the first coat, they could, if it went, if it goes, picks up a little bit, they could potentially be a problem and show through. And even you might be able to feel them as well sometimes. That's why when you see people putting a lot on, a lot of gear on, and they use these speed skins, they flatten them with the speed skin. It's just to get rid of all the ridges and lines so that when they go over with another, because it's a different coat, don't remind, don't forget. They mix up, lash it on, then flatten it, then mix up again to second coat. Yeah, it's a bit dodgy that, isn't it? That's done. First gauge is done. 
Liam managed to get that and that on. We've got these to get on. We've SBR'd them. That's all nice and dry, so I'm going to bang this on. Liam's going to get them dwarves on. He's just mixing up. Lovely. Right, here we go. Second gauge. Fill out the tapes and the beads. This camera footage is better. Get the beads filled out. So I just go all the way, the full length of the bead, and then just drag it across. So when I dabbed that on, I sort of created a, an olive between the existing and the new so that I had stuff so I could I knew I could then tape it and fill out but this this troll see how it's not big enough to reach from the that bead that the new bead that I put on and the existing plaster where I'm where I'm uh, blended into and I'll show you that further on in the video you'll see where I use the um, I use the superflex and I explain to you what why See, I've got, see there, I've gouged out and I'm after filling out again. It's, it's just, just too hard. It, it is shorter than my trail, but it's just too hard to get, to control. But I thought to myself, I'll use this vanilla flex um, or the ox flex, but I'll just, I'll just get it put on and laid in so it can be setting and going off a little bit. And then I'll lay down with it. So here I'm rattling the wall on now. Go on, lad. Get it lashed on. I don't think this footage is sped up at all. I think I left it as it is. So I've just come away from the window, and then what I'm going to do is just come right up. Right up nice and neat, see, belts in. So I've put the top bit on, worked to the windowsill up, and then I've just got that little bit at the bottom to put on. You'll see in a minute. That stuff looks a bit dodgy. There's not a lot left. You think how much is in that tub and how much I've got to put on, left. It's a bit squeaky bum. Liam was saying, I'll just mix a bit more up. That's my pet hate is running out of stuff. Because you have to st stop what you're doing, mix up. That time that you're mixing up, your stuff's setting, so you're losing time to get it under control. And plus, the fact that you've mixed fresh stuff. As soon as you mix, it's two hours. So you, so you can mix an hour, mix, put on for an hour, and then run out and have to put on. So you've lost that hour because you've mixed again. It's sort of like it changes your setting time, or more importantly, it changes your finishing time. It just prolongs it. No one wants be, no one wants to be doing a gauge longer than they have to. Nobody wants plaster. No one wants to be working longer than needed, especially plasterers. And you know, get it on, get it lashed on in a gauge and go home. Yeah, baby. Eagle-eyed viewers might see that there's no dust sheet. Um, in the living room and there's plaster the change in the floor she wasn't bothered she was a lovely lady this uh, woman she made us plenty bruise and she wasn't bothered about it. she understood that plastering's a messy trade and having builders in is a messy trade some people think you, you, you can be spotless and build but i'm sorry you can't you can't do it you can't make an omelet without breaking eggs as they say So I'm just working my way to the bead now, lashing through. That's what I was on about, lashing through at the at that height. Come over to the other side, lash up there nice and neat. Almost like a reveal, that little nib. The wife's just come in and stood on the dog's toy. So that might be on the video. 
not the footage, just the noise, just the squeak. <laughs> She's determined to talk and ruin my video. Ruined. Come on, Damo, stop messing around. Get it lashed on, lad. There's a rad pipe. It's a flipping nightmare. Luckily, my trail just fitted in between the rad and the rad pipe and the wall. Move, Liam. Oh, cut it just before his face was on that. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is, because... Of it was a bit squeaky bum on the material. I'm lashing on neat and then going back over it to sort of lay it down at the same time. And you can see. As long as the outcome is a nice flat smooth wall that they can paint and you can't see anything. It doesn't really matter how you achieve that. There's certain techniques and ways that you can do. If you're running out of stuff, you can kind of get away with laying in with less, if that makes sense. Rough it on quick and lay it in straight away, it, almost, then when you don't need as much to lay in, and then um, you still get it flat. I hope this is making sense, because it's not making any sense to me. <laughs> I'm just chunnering. So I'm laying in now, you see. So I've I lashed it on and neatened it up straight away. And then I'm just laying in. You can see how neat it is. Liam actually put this reveal on and that little dwarf wall, but he's around the other side doing some more. So I just thought, I've got time. I'll lay it in for him quick. I've got the time to lay it in. So there's no point me leaving him to do it if he's struggling and then that bit of that bit of the job being rough. I've got the time. Like when he's if he's got a bit of time, I'll say to him, don't hang around. Don't stand on there on your phone. There's always something you can be doing. It's a good actual, good bit of advice if there's any apprentices watching this. Just because your work's done, the guy you're working for might just be under a bit of pressure. You've got your wall under control. Just ask him. You want me to go over anything? You know, is there anything you're okay? Is there anything I can go over? And look, I, I'm putting on now with the super flex here. The Ox Superflex, not a bad trail at all for finishing, but because it reaches from bead to bead, it just naturally forms the wall. It naturally goes with the wall and you can get it, get a better job. So I put it on with my normal trail, but I was finding it hard. I was struggling a little bit to get it, to get it just where I wanted it. I would have got it, but I never mean, thought, you know what I'll do? I'll get that. I can just do with something the right length. Speed skin, I've got a speed skin in the van, which would have been exactly the same thing. Don't oh, bad dog. Oi, shut up. If anyone knows how to stop a dog barking, absolutely nothing. Please let me know. Barked at nothing and he barked at the telly. Yeah, see, just flicking out the existing plaster, the line where I was kind of blend, trying to blend into, and then I thought to myself, I may as well just go to that existing bead from new bead to existing bead. Just... Looks better job.
And this is um, this is the pure finish. It, it's creamy as everything. So what I did, just let me explain to you. You might have saw me putting it on, and I was going to try and blend into here. Just see me in a minute, Tom. I was going to try and blend into there, which that has blended in. But I was struggling to get it all the way along. So if you look at that side, that's all blended into that bead. So I don't have to put another bead on. But this trowel is very close to so to control that and get it perfect. You'd end up I ran in there and cheeked about the bead. I dug a bit out the bead. So all I did was when it was on it had stiffened up a bit and I was leaning in, flattening in. I used the Superflex, which they're really good for um, they're really good for things where you a bead to bead panel and it fits. But look how much over I've got so I can control that far easier. With vanilla for you boy. Show it there. <laughs> Showing different saying different angles of it. I can control it, that's probably better. You can probably see the difference there, can't you? Yeah. Rather than, so, you can control it there, can't you, like that? That's miles easier than trying to control it with that. Because you're just running down from bead to bead. Rather than like that. you're dabbing it, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of like dabbing it, yeah. Dabbing it, floating it in, whatever you want to call it. But I just thought I'd show you that. Right? Stop it. Right, that's the job all finished off. It's home time. Let me show you these reveals all blended in nice and bonny. All right in there, all done. If you've enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, hit the bell and I'll catch you on the next one.